Hi, I'm Dave Cyrus and this is DSP Rants. For our first edition, I'll be breaking down the current Democratic nominees for president. Dennis Kucinich. A brave man with brave ideas. But will him being so liberal make it impossible for him to be president? No. The fact that before Congress he lived in a tree and made cookies will. Teddy Roosevelt once famously said that the only thing a man needs to be president is a strong profile. And Denny Kucinich doesn't have the jawline to become mayor of the Lollipop Guild. Joe Biden. I would love Joe Biden to be president. The man is a walking punchline. He can't even open his mouth without sticking both feet and a cock in there. The man famously once called Barack Obama clean, got caught plagiarizing speeches, and said in a speech once that only Indians shop at 7-Eleven. Not work at, shop at. So I would love to see him as president, telling the president of Mexico, hey, don't drink your water, and asking North Korea how big their dong is. Chris Dodd. Doesn't really have a presidential look. Um, imagine if someone tried to make a scarecrow by stuffing a Michael Dukakis mask with hay. That's Chris Dodd. Also, he squints. He's a squinter. John Edwards. The man who may become our prettiest president since Franklin Pierce. His skin made of felt, his hair spun of the gold fleece of Zeus's tunic. He's the rich, beautiful lawyer every woman wants and every man wants to punch in the face. I like him. Not physically. I'm not attracted to John Edwards. I just realized that of all the candidates, he's the best choice if there were no decently hot women left on earth. And you know, he seems like a giver. Mike Gravel. You know, it's really been too long since we had batshit crazy in the office. Gravel is basically only at the debates to keep the other candidates honest. When they're afraid to talk about immigration, he announces his cabinet will be made up entirely of illegal immigrants he picked up at Home Depot. When they want to steer clear of gay marriage, he open mouth kisses Wolf Blitzer. Having him there is like going on a date with your racist grandpa as a chaperone. Tell her about the time you pissed her pants at SeaWorld! What? She's Irish! They're used to that! Barack Hussein Obama. When all three of your names terrify white people and you're still the front runner, you, sir, are a natural. Barack, or as I like to think of him, the white Bill Clinton, is incredible. First of all, he terrifies political cartoonists. No matter how you draw him, it's gonna look racist. When the guy smiles, he's got a bigger mouth than Tony Robbins. As much as he's clearly the most charismatic candidate on either side, it's inevitable that Southern voters just aren't going to accept him. Because for many of them, the last time they saw a black man on stage, he was accompanied by an auctioneer. Also, 30% of the country thinks he lives in a cave in Pakistan. Hillary Rodham Clinton. She's pretty much as qualified as anyone else to be president. She just doesn't have what her husband always did. A cock. She's tough, stubborn, and self-assured. Qualities people love in men, but in a woman get you labeled a castrating bitch with cankles. America, don't hate on Hillary for being a chick. Hate her for killing Vince Foster and making it look like a suicide. I mean, Pat Robertson said it. And he's been pretty on the ball lately. Bill Richardson. Too fat. Al Gore. Will someone please tell this asshole to run already? The whole world wishes they had the 2000 election do over again, and he's busy flying around the world telling us all to save the environment. Hey, you know how you can save the environment? If you were friggin' president! For God's sake, do something like getting Futurama back on the air! So that's my wrap up of the Democratic nominees. Uh, stay tuned, I'll be doing the Republican ones soon, but uh, be warned, it won't be as nice.